Hey guys. So I just wanted to quickly explain, like I've just had the most amazing inspirational feed ever. And I need you to know, uh, I just wanted to tell you. And so like, what I'm feeling at the moment is like, we're also, you know, it's light versus dark and it's this, the world is, it can be all difficult and we can focus on all the bad things. And you know, it can be, it can be this proper contrast of like, you know, we've got the doom and gloom and then we've got like the, the uprising and the awakening and the, the, the connection to spirituality, the connection to ourselves, the connection to our inner selves and like how we want to grow. And we can be, we really want to like use and focus on this personal development, on the self exploration, on this self love and light for ourselves and for who we are. And this is going to be so apparent as I've just heard in the next six years that what is going to be, what is important now, basically will not be important. Um, what we think is important now, you know, um, like all the materialistic things, um, isn't, you know, we're like, like, like we depend on, or we, we are addicted to, or that we love to keep us happy and sane and things. Well, I think it's naturally going to just like come to sort of like a close or an understanding because of this awakening that's happening at the moment, because we're forced to stay still. We're forced to just okay, the world is still now, right? This virus has made us all, you know, we're staying at home, we're staying with our families, we're, or, or maybe we're staying alone, right? Like um, many of the times I was alone during this pandemic. And so um, it gives us a lot of, you know, retrospective, um, you know, the essence of just inner, inner work and um, questions that we've never really had time or the energy to answer or ask or answer before to ourselves and so now we've really got the time to just liberate ourselves and and feel um that connection to ourselves and work work and grow and use our time wisely to grow into um the person who you know, the human we're supposed to be. And so we need to focus on that light. And that is the point of today in, in terms of like, we need to focus on the light. The light is what's important. And just so, so be around people who make you feel great, who make you be happy, who make you explore your inner self, who, you know, in, in to who you can resonate with in a way that's uplifting and and just like it gives you value and brings you so much importance of um self love and self care self management and and that's so important now so you know like I'm a mindfulness coach. I delve into so many different areas i I just can't even put it under one roof so that's that's you know the the construct that I want to bring and it's like bringing home here so like we're on this earth now and we want to make that the best time possible no what no matter what is happening in the external environment our internal state is what matters is what counts right and so and so like believe me the dark work I'm going through at the moment is so intense and yesterday for example like blow me out the park. I was like, where has this come from? There are so many things that are happening and my emotional attachment to things was just so apparent to me. And because like I'm becoming so aware of of what what I'm emotionally attaching myself to, um, what's important, what's not important, what's light, what's dark, you know, and, and this has been like, oh, you know, this sort of, of um, the way that I was, obsessing in my mind my mental state you know it's um it's our brains our our minds and our body right are conditioned so heavily um through through the life that we've lived um through the government through essences of control in so many different areas and we have to and we have suffered right we have suffered greatly now is the time guys now is the time if you haven't noticed already that all of the stuff is being brought back up. It's being pushed up to the surface. So like if you're, if you're even, so if you're doing some spiritual work and going through a spiritual process and you find like you're, you know, 
everything's being brought back up um, because you're giving yourself that space to for it to be awakened, for it to be moving about your body. The divine wants to move in you. It wants to move all in your body. It wants to bring you coherence with your heart, with your brain. It wants to bring you the satisfactory love that you know is possible, right? And it unfortunately in this world today, we can really think that it isn't possible and that we can't, you know, reach out of our comfort zone. We can't reach out and explore um, and do the things we actually really want to do um, because we feel so we feel so in fear of X, Y, Z, you know, we're, we're scared to, we're scared to take that next step. And, and, and like at the moment, like I felt stuck, right? I don't know, just done a, I've just done a thing of like, um, um, where I feel, you know, where I feel like I'm out of my depth, all right, in terms of like, what do I do with this? But anyway, all I want to say is like, what's coming up for you at the moment? Let it be there sit with it, stay with it, embrace it, and have it there. Don't push it away, don't push it aside, don't let it go anywhere, just acknowledge its existence. Bring that awareness to yourself and to um, to to the healing of what um, the triggers, the, the pains, the past pains, the emotional pains, the, the trauma, the abuse, um, you know, and this fear of dying, this fear of like, there is a world out there that is, that is, and up there, right, this is just so much going on, that, that is there waiting for you to understand and know, and you, you know, this, we're, we're brought, we have so much limited beliefs, right, we're, we're so, our capacity to think, um, and to even feel sometimes is so limited because um, all we do is work with our senses, with our five senses, right? And we want to, we want to, um, we want to explore out of that. And how you do that is brain and heart coherence, is is channeling and lifting and going out, right? And doing this, bear with me, doing this will really bring you the, the light that you and the answers that you are looking for. You've seen on many of my posts at the moment, like it's it's just coming out right now. And I needed to send this message across because I know so many of you are in pain and in lack and in limitation and in fear. And all you need to do is is be okay with that. Listen to that, feel that be there with that okay and so sorry about that and so um yeah do that and um and sit there and be there with it right do the meditations do the work do the self-exploration really work inside on your body notice all your centers up and down your body your heart your heart is what's most important right now so really focus on your heart on what it feels and what it loves and what it's lacking and what it wants and from that ask for it ask for what you want in your life in terms of not specifics in terms of the love the light the support the growth the grace the the abundance of what you want in your life um so this is such a random big long message and um i just wanted to really i really wanted to help because it's just just such a wide audience of of people struggling with the same similar things, which is just the energy that's going on in the world at the moment. And that's okay, right? You're okay. You are fine to feel the way you are feeling. Just be with it, okay? Listen to your heart. Go step, go a step forward each day in the right direction. Learn growth, learn development, learn how to be just the most incredible you and lead with love and kindness and compassion and compassion and that is just the lesson guys of today but I just want to send you so much love and light so much love and light and all of this is coming from my heart and it's just I've just been inspired so greatly that um and including like you know my healing process and I just wanted to share with you like what I'm doing but also what 
what will help you too. So it's healing whatever comes up, whatever trigger, whatever pain comes up in the moment. It's just sitting there with it and healing it and um, acknowledging it and becoming aware of it. And believe me, the circuits that change in your brain, as soon as you just become aware of it, is like tenfold. It's incredible. It lights up like fireworks in that brain so just keep learning keep growing um keep creating and now is the time to create so just do it guys just just be your very best i'm sending you so much love and light i'm actually going to go now i love you guys peace out i just wanted to let you know that if you don't know already because i'm just like posting every day about root to mindfulness it's just the my um the website Root to Mindfulness, you can go on and there you can find like family courses and child courses on so many different areas in mindfulness, how to bring your family closer together as a unit and how to really work on your like mental health, your emotional health and your emotional education really together as a family. And it just brings so much love and laughter and light. And that's what I, that's what my intention was to create just a bond, right? Something that right now in this technical age as well that we're lacking, we're lacking a bond, we're lacking a connection with other people. Um, we can, you know, we can misread, we might not be able to understand, we might not be able to verbally express how we feel and especially our kids of today and things like that. And so really please check out the family course. Um, we've got it on offer at the moment. So just please go on to rootmindfulness.com and you will find just, you know, a, a course that can really help you transform and just gain even your first steps, um, beginner, intermediate, advanced, whatever level you are. Um, it's just it's just so vital to um, bring that emotional education into your life, and it really will be most vital in the future. And that's probably extremely apparent to you right now. Um, with all the questions you're probably asking. Okay, so I'm just going to leave you on this note, right? So if you're ever out and you feel a trigger, if you're ever outside and you're with someone or you're in a place and something happens and you feel anxiety and fear and sadness or if you feel triggered by past pain or if you feel triggered by someone else or by something that's happened, whatever happens in that moment, that happens. This is the lesson that you need to learn to just just blow your mind with uh, transformation and transcendence, okay? So in that moment when that happens, be, oh, and it's so hard, I'm not saying it's easy, even to just become aware of that trigger, of that happening. So if you're out and about and you, you see something and it's hurt you inside or someone's hurt you inside in some certain way, notice that. Be okay. Now I feel unsafe, right? That's what it can lead us to. I feel unsafe. And then we're in survival mode, okay? And we can react and we can go crazy. It's not about reaction, okay? So I'm just going to leave you with that. If that comes up, be aware of it. That's it for now. Just be aware of it, okay? And just notice it and just be, okay, this is how I'm feeling. This is how I'm reacting. This is just what's happened. Maybe you can stop yourself. That would be amazing. It takes a long time sometimes though. So again, lots of love and light. Please check out my website. It would just mean the world to me. And if you have any, any questions about anything, let me know. The individual courses are on their way. Um, so they'll be specifically de designed for different areas of anxiety, mental health, emotional health, um, manifesting, and, you know, getting into the mystical science of things, which is just so awesome. <laughs> so, okay. I will love you all. Bye. Really, bye this time. <laughs> bye.